we look at the, the, I guess, the ripple effects of what is happening in Greece right now. The eurozone is in a very tenuous situation right now, and the euro in itself is very fragile. Yes, what we've seen over the last few weeks is the markets reacting very strongly against this Greek budget deficit. And the way you see that is the weakening of the euro against the dollar over the, over the last few weeks. And we see it with worries about this budget deficit. And that's hit, it, hit the stock markets. And that's where you see it affects more than just what's happening in Greece. And the reason is, is that the markets are saying maybe Greece cannot pay back its, uh, the interest on these loans. And that's why the last few days you've seen the markets react in the other way. That's where the barometer is. Very strong uh, gains in stock markets, a rebound for the euro, and that's because of talk coming out that there could be some sort of help coming from the European Union. Now, Manita, the European Union cannot bail out Greece. It doesn't work that way. There's talk, though, of loan guarantees coming from countries like France, from countries like Germany, and that's for confidence. A loan guarantee doesn't mean any money will change hands, but it may just be enough to back up what Greece is doing, and that could help the markets. Yeah, we're looking at those market numbers right now. We're all in green territory at this point, but when we're looking at uh, the other Eurozone countries who are also probably potentially feeling this could happen to them as well. What are, what's your sense about, about that? Well, that's what's upsetting some of the countries. You've seen the, the government of Spain coming out and saying we don't have the same problem when it comes to budget deficits as Greece does. Portugal says the same thing. Uh, there's some talk that Italy could be in trouble. And again, this is about fear of what could happen down the road, and that's what is affecting. And that's why countries like France and Germany are taking this very seriously, because of the contagion. You know, some people are even talking about Greece leaving the Eurozone. Well, that's not anything that's going to happen anytime soon. That's just a worry down the road. But when you start having the Euro attacked the way the markets the way people, investors, have been attacking it, then that affects everybody. Uh, but what you might have to do then is get help for Greece from other European countries. And that's what could come out of tomorrow's meetings in Brussels. So the markets will be watching very carefully what is said by Greece and France in the next 48 hours.